Breaking news for you now. The woman at the center of the niqab debate has taken her citizenship oath moments ago and is now a Canadian. Natasha Fata has the latest. Natasha. Andrew, we've just received more pictures of this breaking news event. Of course, most people will recognize this image of Zunera Ishak. Even if you don't know what her face looks like, you have certainly seen this photograph and certainly you have heard her name in the last nine weeks. This woman really epitomizing the ongoing political debate about whether niqabs at citizenship ceremonies are appropriate or not. We know that the Conservative government felt that it was not, but the courts have ruled against them multiple times. And here she is today at her citizenship ceremony in the greater Toronto area. Uh, she's there with members of her family and other friends uh, who have been supportive of her. She's there with a representative uh, from the state. There, She's taking the oath of citizenship there. Some of us have had to do this ourselves, so this is a familiar moment, certainly. And so she's taking the citizenship oath in this moment, and there after the oath has been taken she's being handed over some documents i'm just being handed some brand new information at this moment this coming from cbc's uh, sylvia thompson who is there and she is reporting that uh, this woman um, zunera ishak was crying and said thank you so much for honoring me here today so it's important to note just for folks who may not be familiar with the uh, case that zunera ishak uh, is an immigrant and now a citizen of Canada. She came to Canada from Pakistan in 2008. She is one of two Muslim women who said in 2011 that they would not remove their niqab during the citizenship ceremony. In 2011, the then Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, Jason Kenney, said that niqabs would be barred and that the federal government would move to make sure that no person would be able to cover their face when they're becoming a member of the Canadian family. She took this to court. She challenged she won. The Conservative government asked for an appeal. They were denied. And even last week, and another motion to stay the, uh, the decision made by the federal court, they were denied. So it was presumable that by at some point this year she would become a Canadian citizen. She had expressed publicly that she would like to become a citizen before October 18th, so or October 19th, excuse me, so she could cast a ballot. She is now in a position to do that. So let's have a look again at these brand new images. This is something the entire country has been gripped by, regardless of where you stand on the niqab issue. This is a woman who is now a Canadian citizen. She will very likely be casting a ballot come October 19th. All right, Natasha, thank you. You're welcome. And we will We'll continue to track this break.